You're on the med surge floor. The IV pump in your patient's room just failed. The provider has ordered a thousand milliliters of normal saline to be infused over six hours. The only tubing available is a macro drip set at 15 drops per milliliter. You need to calculate the manual drip rate in drops per minute to keep the infusion on track. No guessing, just dimensional analysis done right. Let's start with what we know. The order is for a thousand milliliters of normal saline to infuse over six hours. But remember, drip rates are always calculated in drops per minute. So before we do anything else, we convert the time. Six hours times 60 minutes equals 360 minutes. Now we've got the correct unit for our setup. 1000 milliliters over 360 minutes. That's our foundation. Everything builds from here. Now it's time to add your drop factor. This tubing delivers 15 drops for every one milliliter. That's a macro drip set. Drop factor always goes on top because that's what you want to find, drops per minute. So now your setup looks like this. 1000 milliliters over 360 minutes times 15 drops over one milliliter. Cancel out the milliliters and what's left is drops per minute, the unit we're solving for. Let's solve it. Our setup is 1000 milliliters over 360 minutes times 15 drops over one milliliter. Start by canceling out milliliters. Now multiply across the top, then multiply across the bottom. Now divide. 15,000 divided by 360 equals 41.6 repeating. Since you can't give a fraction of a drop, we round to the nearest whole number. Final answer, 42 drops per minute. Let's try one that's a little trickier. You're ordered to infuse 250 milliliters of D5W over 90 minutes using a 20 drops per milliliter macro drip set. This setup requires careful math, but the method stays the same. Convert your time, set up your dimensional analysis, and solve for drops per minute. Let's walk through the full setup, starting with the time. The order says to infuse 250 milliliters over 90 minutes, so we're already working in minutes. No conversion needed this time. Start with what you're being asked to give. 250 milliliters over 90 minutes. Then add your drop factor, 20 drops per one milliliter. Set it up so the milliliters cancel, leaving you with drops per minute and the unit we're solving for. Multiply across the top, then multiply across the bottom, then divide 5,000 divided by 90 equals 55.5. And finally, round to the nearest whole drop, 56 drops per minute is your final answer. Here's your challenge. The provider orders 750 milliliters of 0.9% normal saline to infuse over 4.5 hours. The only available tubing is labeled 12 drops per milliliter. Can you calculate the drip rate in drops per minute? Convert your time, set up your chain, cancel your units, and round to a whole number. Pause here and give it a try. Did you get it right? Let's break it down and see. Step one, convert the time. 4.5 hours times 60 minutes equals 270 minutes. Step two, start with what you're giving. 750 milliliters over 270 minutes. Step three, add your drop factor. 12 drops over one milliliter. Cancel out the milliliters and we're solving for drops per minute. Multiply across the top, multiply across the bottom, then divide. 9,000 divided by 270 equals 33.33. Round to the nearest whole number. 33 drops per minute is your final answer. Did you get it right? Let us know in the comments.
you just calculated IV drip rates without a pump using only the order, the tubing, and a clear setup. You learned how to use the drop factor, set up a dimensional analysis chain, cancel units, and round up to a whole drop. That's not just math. That's clinical judgment in action. In the next episode, we'll build on what you've learned by diving into weight-based IV titration, like calculating micrograms per kilogram per minute for meds that change based on the patient's response. These are the kinds of calculations that make new nurses nervous. So we'll break them down step-by-step, step, just like we did here. Until then, keep practicing dimensional analysis the way you'd use it in real life. Clear, safe, and clinically smart.